Hello everyone and welcome to Archaeological Field Skills. This is one of the most essential units that you can take in archaeology. Together with Archaeological Lab Skills, which is offered in Semester 2, these give you the core skills you need in order to call yourself an archaeologist. Now it's true many archaeologists do not work in the field all the time, but all archaeologists have been to the field and you need to be aware of how we work under field conditions. Apart from anything, it's a lot of fun. We, we really live and breathe for this kind of stuff. Um, in terms of your employment opportunities, it's the hard skills you will learn during units like this and lab skills that will get you the job, but it's also the soft skills in dealing with a variety of publics, interest groups and the people around you that will keep you in that job. And increasingly employers are looking for a combination of those hard and soft skills. They would rather have a pleasant and agreeable person who's willing to learn um, to work with and to employ than a brilliant um, but less than ideal human is one way of putting it. Okay, so on to this year's, the 2018 field school. You're only as good as your last field school, so in the background behind me you have the poster from our last year field school, which was the Australian Women's Army Service at Bibra Lake. This was threatened by the Row 8 Highway, and always we situate our field schools in a real life problem. You're not just going to a site and surveying, recording, excavating, just for that purpose alone. Um, we always need some sort of outcome so that it's useful in a real world situation, and that's also very good for your CVs as well. Having said you're as good as your last field school, much as enjoyable as, as it was, um, let's get rid of that picture and go on to the LMS. So the LMS is now open, the learning management system, and this is what it looks like. It's a record of our field schools, you have welcomes and things. Um, please familiarize, familiarize yourself with the LMS, with its content, with its assessment, with who to contact and all of those kinds of things, and bring your questions to our first meeting and we will go over the whole unit. Now I'll mention from the outset this is always a team taught unit, the lab manager Carly Monks, and this year we have an outstanding tutor in Fiona Hook who has her own um, uh, cultural heritage management business. Um, so what better team could you hope for, apart from myself that is. Um, this is a very different unit perhaps to what you're used to. Uh, there are almost no individual assignments. Your, your assessment consists of four different things. So if we go here to assessment, we go to assessment and you can see here group assignments. Um, are, you'll be divided into groups uh, at, your, for, at our first meeting and each week you'll produce a short one to three page treatment of what the next week's topic is. It might be occupational health and safety, it might be mapping, it might be survey strategies, it might be excavation, it might be curation. So what you're going to do is you're going to do the required reading for that week, you're going to meet as a group and you're going to come up with that one to three page report which you um, submit electronically onto the LMS. doesn't have to be perfect at all. This is just a work in progress. A lot of what we do in this unit is balance the constraints of time, money, skills, demands of the job uh, and do the best we can. There's definitely a minimum standard and there's an ideal standard and we aim to be between those two. Um, sometimes you can work more carefully and sometimes you have to rush. So we're going to teach you some of those time and skill management issues during that course. So there's an ongoing set of group assignments each week that you hand in from um, week two. We get into it straight away. Then is the field school. So the field school is between roughly the 1st and the 8th of uh, April during the study break. Uh, it does require that you give up a day or two of your Easter break. That is a sacrifice. That again is something if you're going to be a field archaeologist you're going to have to do quite often. But more practically we need a minimum of about five field days in order to give you meaningful content in the field. While you're in the field, you will be constantly evaluated in a very gentle way um, on your different skills. You'll find there are an incredible variety of skills, and some of which you might, you'll be good at and others less. You might be very good at drawing section diagrams and less good at laying out an excavation square. It's always a team and group effort. The group ethos is extremely important to this unit, and, and we work in groups all the time among ourselves and with other communities, and I'll get onto that in a moment. The one piece of individual assessment is your field notebook. You need to have a field notebook. There's quite a lot of resource material um, on field notebooks. And this will be handed in on the last day of the field school and assessed in a report given back to you. And then there is a final report. One final report. The whole group 
gets together, divvies up the work equitably um, under our guidance, and then you produce a single industry-grade final report on the field school. So they are not final reports per person. There is one final report and everyone gets the same grade. Now I know some people, usually the high achievers, don't like this because they say the slackers then just cruise along. But this is how you work out there in the real world. And it's about team management. We do have checks and balances in terms of the tutors and unit coordinators and that. And in the past, groups have managed this very successfully. And that whole managing of getting um, you know, more than a dozen people to contribute to a final report is a very sought after skill by employers. So those are the different forms of assessment for the, the, the unit. I'm not going to go through the whole LMS. There, for example, on the staff tab, you can see there's Carly, Fiona and myself, where you can find us, where you can get hold of us. We love to talk archaeology anytime. We've got the schedule in terms of what's on each week. And the, the, the schedule is very simple. We basically do the stuff you do before you go to the field. We have the field school and then the stuff you do after you go to the field, be it research design, safety and ethics, uh, mapping, excavation, then you have the field school, how we record and analyse finds, how we clean and curate the finds, publishing, working on the final report. So in other words, um, you get a, a, an idea of field work as a process rather than just simply a, a field school. Um, note that there is a, a unit fee. Uh, we don't get any funding from the university, so there is a $200 incidental fee that covers things like food, and here is the portal through which you pay that. I'll go over that on Monday. The unit outline is slightly more comprehensive in terms of what it gives you um, in, in what's happening. So there are the contact details again. A lot of that is duplicated here, but this just has it in one place. What the learning outcomes are, um, all of that um, kind of stuff, some recommended readings. We do have a textbook we like, uh, the Archaeologist Field Handbook. The co-op has copies, the library has multiple copies. And this is one of the few times we do suggest you buy a book. This one will be good for now and for later on in your career as well. Um, what have I left out? Okay, the field school itself. So this year we are working in conjunction with the UWA Future Farm, the Faculty of Agriculture, they have approached us to say they have this property over here near Pingley. So there's Perth and you drive, very nice drive, about two hours from Perth and you arrive to the future farm. The future farm has to be a sustainable farm by 2050 and this includes the human aspect. The farm has not been surveyed archaeologically. We already had a site visit, there's some colonial remains. Um, we're working with the local indigenous community who also have sites of significance on there and no doubt through our foot surveys we will find some other remains. We'll be excavating part of a colonial farmhouse and we will be staying on the farm. We will be staying in an old farmhouse and tenting. Um, this is, uh, so this is a, a field school where you go and you stay on the farm every day and you sleep there every night, we cook our own food and we work in groups like that. So in the day you get taught the technical skills and all around that um, you get inculcated the, the, the social skills how to work together in a pleasant way for a week or so and we'll also be having a fair amount of interaction with the town of Pingley. This will take um, the form of, of visiting the community, <coughs> like going to the pub, drinking responsibly, I'll be the designated driver, but so that we can be seen there, that the town is very interested in UWA's activities and they're genuinely interested in what we have to do. So probably that Saturday, I think it's the 7th or 8th of April, we'll have some kind of presentation in town or maybe the Friday night, we are still busy negotiating that. Um, if you have a look over there, it's called Ridgefield Farm. This is the kind of country that it's found in. Look at that picture. Isn't that fantastic? <laughs> this chimney stack and nothing else around it. So what is happening there? There's another old farmhouse there. So this is one of the places we'll be excavating. And this hill over here, I think, probably has significant Aboriginal remains. And we'll be looking there and at other places on the farm as well. So, uh, there's information about the final report. I'm not going to go over a whole lot of stuff. There's an archive. You can draw off the uh, dossier from last year's final assessment and report, which is there, um, and the various other resources. Uh, I don't want to take up too much time. This is a, a welcome intro uh, rather than a, a long, big speech. I've spoken uh, for enough time, and I've stressed that we want to speak face-to-face -face and deal with uh, people all the time in that way. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's always a lot of fun. We, we like the field school. You do work hard in the field school, but not unreasonably. We always work safely. And we not only find out things, 
uh, find things rather, we find out things, particularly when you take the lab methods course where we will further analyse some of the material we recover from this field school. So look forward to, to meeting you all and um, if you have any questions, you know, bring them along and um, we'll deal with them there. So